clear crisp day in the first week of January and there's my boat all bundled up for the winter so it won't be in the water for oh three months yet uh, but I have my new Elko EP20 electric motor it's finally arrived well my uh Elko 20 horsepower electric motor has arrived. Uh, this is after two months uh, waiting. It was delayed due to uh, uh, part shortages um, due to the epidemic. You know, I think this is a common theme. Anyways, uh, it has arrived today and uh, I'm going to do an unboxing. Uh, it depends on what options you order uh, with your motor. This motor here is a long shaft, 20 horsepower long shaft. Uh, I also ordered the battery cable kit and the side, side mount control. This is a remote uh, uh, setup as well. All right, this is what we get. Cordelco glove. So, um, manual, both, uh, and what is this? What? Another manual of some sort. Okay, so this is the actual manual. sure how that sets up yet. Some bolts. Washers and a few. Next. This is the uh, battery cable kit. Lots of styrofoam. And here's the motor. So this must be the, yeah, this is a side mount controller. The only thing left in there is the motor itself. All right, there's the, uh, there's the Elko motor. Very nice. So that is, uh, according to the spec, is 85 pounds. And it feels like 85 pounds. So I could get a good, uh, Get a good look at it. Let's see what we have in the throttle box. Okay. So, oh, the uh, key mechanism on off switch important and uh, it looks like it, oh it's a kill switch a kill switch okay this is the connection end that goes right to the throttle itself and this is the part that plugs into the motor And here's the side mount throttle. Lavorsky. So I moved indoors from the garage because it's cold out there. This is the first week of January, so won't be uh, mounting the motor until uh, probably April. This, uh, this is the linkage arm and uh, the manual doesn't uh, really show that, but it's pretty straightforward linkage arm that you'd find on other uh, outboards. Uh, this part here connects to the 
front of the motor with the little bolt provided. So that's pretty straightforward. A little bag of spare parts. And in that you have a 10 amp fuse. Three little rings. They're kind of like O-rings. And a cotter pin. So these are uh, various parts and that. So the cotter pin is for the propeller. The uh, small rings are for when you change the, um, the gear oil. And uh, the fuse, it's a 10 amp fuse and still not sure where that goes. Um, I possibly, I, I don't need it. it it's, uh, could be used in an application uh, for possibly the, uh, the Victron um, uh, meter, not quite sure. This is the battery cable. This is uh, two gauge um, marine grade wiring. Uh, it also has a fuse, uh, 250 amps, and Anderson connector. Now, the entire length of this is uh, seven feet. Uh, so that means I'm going to have to reconfigure my battery for. Uh, to put more towards the back so I'll be moving it back to uh, probably its original position the battery kit also comes with uh, three two gauge um, jumper cables to go between the batteries there's a good protective sheath around the cable. So this is a well-made cable. All right, this is the Lavorsky control cable for the remote, the remote throttle. And this end plugs into the motor. This cable, by the way, is 16 feet long. And then you have three connectors here. These three connectors, uh, one plugs into the Lavorsky itself, the throttle, and then another one is for the key, and another one is for the kill suite that comes with it. You get two keys and a little cable, and it will plug right into this one. You can't really get them mixed up in that because uh, this is a male connector and that's a female connector. All right, and now you do have to uh, watch how you plug this in. It is keyed, there's a little plastic insert in there and, uh, and this side on this end, you can see it's solid at the top. So you just have to line those up correctly and Plug it in, it's well sealed, it's got a little rubber insert that goes around that seals, keeps the, the moisture out. This is the kill switch cable and you can see here that it just yanks out. And plugs right back in, so you'd hook this onto your belt or whatever and this yeah. one check to make sure that uh, you can see the little plastic insert in there so just make sure that is set up so that uh, it's keyed make sure that this is keyed correctly and there you go that's set up last connector. This is for the Lavorsky throttle. Now you notice that there's two cables. One is marked starboard. The other one's marked port. So if you were to uh, put this on the starboard side, which I'm going to be doing, and when I push it in this direction, I want to go forward. That's the purpose of you have having two different connectors now. So I'm going to use the starboard connector. And 
again it just snaps in place. There we go. The other one I'll just uh, tie wrap back after I mount it. So here you have on the Laborski throttle a little locking uh, mechanism. So you have to pull that up to engage it into forward and then it'll just slide forward. When it comes back it locks into neutral so it's locked solid. You can't accidentally throw it into reverse or forward and now pull it up and I can go back in reverse. There we go. So I'll show this in detail when I actually mount it on the boat um, which won't be for a couple months yet. So this is the uh, pin that you could pull out for uh, changing the angle of your motor and the lever for unlocking, the lever for unlocking uh, the motor for tilting and uh, I'm not going to be playing with that right now. I'll wait till I mount the motor and uh, play with it at that time. So this is the upper gear oil screw that you would remove for your oil change and to drain the oil be down here so you remove both those screws let it all drain out and then you're going to be pumping oil back in here till it starts to come out through the uh, top hole put that screw back in and then quickly put this screw back in before it all drains out see if you get different pitch props and that uh, through Elko spare pin to go in here spare cotter pin that was in that little bag that uh, I showed. This is where your throttle cable will pl plug into on the motor. And your battery cable. Big Anderson connector. And to remove the hood of the motor you have a little uh, lever down here. Just pull that down. And now you could just lift the motor up and it kind of connects on to uh, a little connector on the front. Take this off. Yeah, it connects right in there. So the this little metal uh, clip will go right in here, it clips over there, put the hood back and then you just latch it. So this is the inside and not too much to say about it. It looks pretty good. So to put the hood back on, you want to first metal lever right there. Okay. So this little metal clip goes onto that slot in the housing and then latch it in place. This little hole right here is where the link arm connects to so it just bolts up through there so pretty straightforward this little tab here is for tying a rope on too I guess for a safety um, I'm going to be bolting my motor right to the transom so won't have a need for that and this is the manual that comes with the motor and a lot of people will not read the manual but uh, I recommend reading it from uh, beginning to end. Uh, I need to put my 
identification number down on, on here, my serial number. Propeller selection, installation, mounting height rec recommendations, clamping the outboard. And here is uh, what I just demonstrated on the throttle control mount. Lots of good information. Cruising in shallow water recommendations. Removing the propeller, putting a new prop on. Changing the gear oil. And then there's a maintenance table. How to transport it and store it. Emergency situations. And troubleshooting faults and warnings. So there's a number of uh, fault settings here. And there's a little LED that uh, will flash on the motor if you're having issues. And you can see that two flashes, a throttle control fault, three flashes, hardware overcurrent trip activated, and so on. And it goes through a whole list. All right, so anyways, be aware of these uh, LED um, indications for, uh, for different faults. So if you see your LED flashing, consult your manual. And that is it.